When dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago, it made way for mammals to take over. Since then, many different species of mammals have come and gone. New Calgary researchers study their fossils from the past to learn about the future. Can you tell us about your area of research? So I'm interested in the evolution of mammals after dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. When dinosaurs are removed, mammals underwent this huge, what we term adaptive radiation. They diversified into a whole bunch more species and they got much, much bigger. And they took up a lot of the ecological roles that dinosaurs used to have. And I'm interested in the sort of time frame between about 45 million years ago and about 20 million years ago, which is a time period that encompasses a whole lot of climate change. And we can see how those animals changed in response to climate changes and understand more of, of our modern fauna from what we can get from the fossils. So how does the fossil record help us to understand climate change? Well, in a couple of ways. So one of the things that the fossil record offers us is a really long-term look at major changes in climate, and there's more than one of them. So today, when we look at global climate change, we're looking at a really short time period only at one set of changes. In the past, we've got multiple series of times where it got warmer and then it got cooler and then it got warmer and then it got cooler. So we have some repeatability, which we ordinarily don't have when you're looking at something new, right? You don't have a, another example to look at. Here we have multiple examples of what happens when it warms up, what happens when it cools off. So how is the current warming trend different than what's happened before? So it's, it's clear from the record that the Earth has been through warming and cooling cycles before, and animals and plants have adapted. The difference is that now we're dealing with a scale of change that is much more rapid than anything we've seen in the fossil record. Even the most rapid climate changes in the fossil record, which do cause huge disruptions to animals and plants, are not as fast as the changes we've made in the last 200 years. So what is the result of that more rapid warming? Well, the worry is that, that it's gonna cause a lot more ecosystem collapse than in previous changes, slower changes, and that's problematic. Part of the problem is that if we look back at the recent past, the last couple hundred thousand years, we're all evolved, we have all evolved in a context of much cooler temperatures. And so as things warm very, very rapidly, they may warm so rapidly that we're unable to adapt. 